Hello everyone, my name is Vlad Alexander Rosu, and in this work we present EasyPVR, a lightweight, physically-based renderer. There are numerous libraries that can offer realistic renderings, for example, physically-based renderers like VTK or Marmoset. However, VTK can be difficult and verbose to use, while Marmoset is not open source, and it's only available for Windows. Other renderers like Mitsuba can offer very high-quality renderings by using path tracing. However, this is not real-time capable, and so it doesn't quite fit our use case. Bigger libraries like uh, Blender or Unreal Engine have a lot of functionality for rendering and scene creation, but it can also have quite a steep learning curve for you, a new user, and it's not trivial to integrate them into an existing project if the purpose is just to visualize data. Therefore, with EasyPBR, we offer a lightweight and real-time capable physical based render, which can be used either from Python or C++, and it allows also for complex mesh manipulation by leveraging the libigl library. At a high level, EasyPBR can be used as a viewer with drag and drop functionality. The user can enable various effects in the GUI and then finally save the image or record a video of the final scene. Here we see how we can drag and drop meshes into the viewer. Afterwards, textures can be dropped into their respective slots and they will take immediate effect on the meshes. An environment map provides realistic light for the scene. The objects in the scene can be visualized in various ways, as a mesh, a wireframe, a point cloud with or without color, or even circles. Finally, the user can add virtual cameras in the scene, which can be used to create a rotating animation around the object. The various effects like shadows, ambient occlusion, and bloom can all be enabled and disabled directly from the GUI. At a middle level, the user can write Python or C++ code to have more control over the 3D scene. For example, these few lines of Python code can add the mesh to the scene and assign textures to it. Finally, with one more line, one can also save the images to disk. At a lower level, one can create custom rendering effects by writing callback functions. The shade according to callback function is also hard loaded during runtime, so any changes have an immediate effect in the viewer. For example, here we use a callback function that uses a blurring shader which performs horizontal and a vertical blur on the final image. The blur amount is controlled by a couple of lines that come the shader. Changing the blur amount triggers the shader code to be recompiled at runtime, and the effect is immediate. One can also make the blur dependent on the depth of the scene. This will create an effect similar to depth of field and can serve as a basis for more complex shaders. Finally, the strength of the blur is lowered and then disabled entirely. Also to be noted that during this example, another callback function is constantly changing the color of the mesh in the scene, showing how multiple callbacks can interact together. In terms of applications, EasyPVR can be used as a visualizer for 3D data uh, used by neural networks. For example, here a neural network processes a laser point cloud and semantically segments it in various classes. The result of segmentation together with the legend is visualized in EasyPPR. In another application, the point cloud of the plant is segmented into instances of leaves for the purpose of computing phenotypical features. The result is again visualized in our render. EasyPPR can also create realistic synthetic data to be used for training neural networks. Here we see some examples of rendered synthetic drones and green balloons, which were used to train a neural network for object detection. This was done in the context of the Ambitur competition, in which an autonomous MAV had to intercept a flying drone and also pop green balloons in the field. Here are some real images of the drone approaching the balloon and also detecting and approaching the other drone in the field. Finally, it can also be used to create small 2D animations. For example, here in the uh, middle we show sinusoidal data plot. The same data is used to drive the left and right widgets, who show the same data as an angle or as a gradient between dark and white pixels. In conclusion, we presented the ZPBR, a lightweight physically based renderer which can be used to easily visualize 3D and 2D data. Additionally, we show that it can also be used to create synthetic data for training neural networks. The full code is available on GitHub. Thank you for watching.